welcome back to my channel Pumpkin Becky. It's beautifully warm here in the greenhouse today however we are set for a lot of snow over the next week and it is barely over freezing in the garden today it is so cold. So here I am in the greenhouse with my coffee and today we're going to do a little succulent planter. Let's get started. So the main setting for my succulent planter this week is going to be this really rather gorgeous copper effect fruit bowl from Wilkinson's here in the UK. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I love the texture. But I'm going to need to protect surfaces from any water coming through from my planting. Don't want soil everywhere because I'm going to have to put drainage holes in this. What can I do? Wilkinson's also have this rather gorgeous charger, which isn't directly meant to be used with the fruit bowl, they're kind of standalone items, but look. <laughs> I think that's a bit special. So first jobs first, let's draw some holes in the bottom of the fruit bowl. So I'm going to make some drainage holes in the bottom of the bowl. I have got myself a cut log which I can sit the bowl on top of. You will see I have actually already made a hole but as has been pointed out to me I did it from the inside out and that has created burrs which means it won't sit flat onto the charger so I'm going to have to do it again from the outside through to the inside but you do need that support so that you're not just denting your your fruit bowl. So I'm using a centre punch and a hammer. First job is to try and flatten out that burr that I made. That's better. So there we go, there's the bowl done. You can see I've popped five holes in the bottom there. Um, trying to do it on the wood, actually there was too much bounce really in my potting bench. So what we did was took it off the bench and gave it a couple of extra wax on the floor. Uh, still hitting it onto wood um, so that we weren't damaging the floor or the bowl but it just meant that the holes could be made a bit bigger and the solid floor was taking the impact of the, the hammering rather than the wood kind of absorbing it and bouncing. Do be super duper careful though because these are really sharp points so probably not a project for a child to do on their own but once we've got some soil in there and we start planting we should be absolutely fine. So my potting medium is from Ecoco again, but it's a slightly different product. This one is more specifically aimed at cacti rather than succulents. So this product is made from shredded up cocoa husk, coconut. Um, it has also got pumice, and it's got some grit in there, so it's a grit. So I'm only gonna put a couple of handfuls in, basically to cover the bottom. So I have bought down from the plant room a really lovely selection of plants in a kind of well look <laughs> I got some Pearl Van Nernberg going on here um, Agavoides lovely sedum with the pinky color so I'm looking at these pinks greys with some little hits of a deeper green from the jades string of pearls just there which will be pretty and make a kind of a drape across the front and moonstone. Now you could leave your lovely copper planter just as that. Planter, succulents, pretty. I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to turn it into a little bit of a fairy garden. <laughs> I've got this adorable copper swing seat 
from fairygardens.co.uk. It's quite big, so it's going to take up quite a bit of the pot, so I'm going to kind of have to plant bearing this in mind. But I can't know. <laughs> so I want something quite tall, and I wanted something that was going to look a little bit tree like. What I happen to have is uh, a Crassula avata, which is uh, also known as the jade plant or the money plant. I'm trying to grow it as a, a bonsai, a tropical bonsai. Uh, so it's actually a cutting. Um, it is taking its sweet time putting some roots down, or it has been so far. So it's very rocky in this pot. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Up until a couple of weeks ago, it hadn't got any roots on at all. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm really pleased about that. I might even leave that until a little bit further into the planting when it's got some things it can lean on. Right, my next biggest thing is these gorgeous jelly beans. Just chuffing up the bottom, really, just to, to get some roots coming down. Okay, what I'm gonna try and do is actually break this up a little bit because it's quite big for this size pot. So I'm going to go in between some of the stems and just push my thumbs into the root ball and carefully let it break itself apart. I'm not ripping at it, just easing it. There we go. So I've got one, two. Even. Yeah. Come down another one. That's much better, that's much more in scale. So I'm just going to push soil up around it to hold it steady. Lovely. And once I've got some other bits in, it will stay more upright. Oh, look how pretty those two look together. So I'm going to tuck Agavoides in. Next to this beautiful jelly bean sedum. If you are going to turn this into a fairy garden, do just keep checking that your set pieces are going to work in here still. It would be a real shame to just plant everything in and then think, Some of my most recent Pearl von Nuremberg cuttings. I've got three here. Don't worry about soil on the leaves, you can either just huff them off <laughs> as you go, or afterwards you can go over with a really soft paintbrush just to take off any excess soil. Okay. So I think the next thing to do is probably put my Swing seat in. Okay, so that's looking pretty, pretty sweet. So here, as I said, I've got some a string of pearls. What I want to try and do with this is break it apart and see if I can just use some pieces of it. As you probably know, most of my succulents come from surrealsucculents.co.uk. I also have some from Little Bunny Lilac on Etsy. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I've just taken the root ball out and I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze and see if I can separate the root ball up a little bit. What String of Pearls does is put out its strings and wherever a string touches soil it will put roots down. They're, they're a little plant in their own right, you don't need to treat them like a, a cutting where you would have to let them callus over. So there you can see I've got a main root coming from the plant but then if you look further down 
these pieces have got their own separate roots and that's because they've been in contact with the soil surface and they've put roots down. Right, so there we go, that's the bit I'm going to have and I'm going to just lay it here over the edge of the pot and let all the pieces trail down the front. That's really pretty, especially when it starts to trail around the copper bowl. I'm just going to take some bits out and start again. Not completely, but a little bit. Please don't be afraid to play with this. You know, this is yours. You've got to be happy looking at it. If, if it's not quite doing what you wanted it to do, carefully pull it apart and have another try because you're the one who's going to be sitting looking at it. Sometimes suddenly something will just gel and you're going, okay, that's what I meant to do. Can you believe this was a cutting? She's awesome. I love her. Try to get this clogger again. This is going to be the messiest tutorial video you've ever watched, but to be fair, until you start unpotting things, you don't really know how big they are and how they're going to look in what you'd imagined. So these things never quite work out how you thought they were going to. You use plants that you had no intention of using. I love this little cluster. It was a cutting, a leaf cutting of something. Um, but I love that it's formed this little arced group from the front that's starting to feel a bit more how I wanted it. Okay, you go in there. Next to the moonstones, it's a nice contrast of leaf shapes. So I think I'm nearly there. do is fill up the middle, pack around everybody a bit better, make sure the root balls are covered. I want to just firm up where the um, swing seat legs are going to go because it's tending to sink and until it's all settled in it, it will continue to sink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some aquarium gravel in roughly where it's going to be just to add a little bit more solidity to the soil surface and I'm going to be top dressing with some of this anyway so it won't look weird. Carefully put the swing seat back in. And last but not least, I've got some of these little fluffy beasties that I have um, done from cuttings. I did a, um, a stem chop, took the main plant left it still in its soil and it's produced these two little pups which are so cute. And I'm just gonna tickle them in. Oh. After 
care for the planter will be very minimal. I will be watering with a syringe so that I don't dislodge anything. I suck up the water into the syringe and accurately apply water wherever I need it within the planter. So it's going to be at least two to three days before I do any sort of watering on this arrangement. I've done an awful lot of work to the roots. Uh, they are going to be quite damaged by what I've done and I don't want them to rot off because I've tried watering too soon. I'm not sure how long I'm going to get out of it as an arrangement. Um, there's quite a few plants in there but it's not overly packed in. I don't know, maybe a couple of months, maybe six months, maybe a year, who can tell? I won't be leaving the planter outside, they are tender succulents so they will get absolutely hammered by the upcoming bad weather. The whole thing's going to go back into the house and I will enjoy it on I think my coffee table, I think it's going to look rather lovely. Um, and then it will also go back under the grow lights periodically just to make sure that nothing gets all stretched out and horrible. Well you know what they say, if you make a garden, the fairies will soon follow. And my friend Holly thought this was just the perfect garden for her to have a little relax in the sun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to do some fun things with succulents. Details for everything I've used in this week's video will be in the description bar, including Holly and her little friends. So until next time, thank you so much for watching myself and Holly. We will see you in the next video. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to us on YouTube. And until next time, bye.